on today's episode of Feeding for Free. Here we've got some pans. These are Viola, or Violas. Uh, I always get them mixed up, but either one is a safe feed. You can tell due to the leaves that drain inside themselves, the purple flowers. Today I'm just in a friend's yard. Any friend's yard that I ever end up in, I'm always taking a scour through. We have dandelions. We have more pansies. We have tons of dandelions. You can tell they're dandelions due to the uh, spade or triangle shaped leaves as well as the yellow heads, the tap root, and how they always grow from the middle. Here, this one shows a little bit better how it grows from the middle there. That's how you can tell it's a dandelion. Uh, on the no feeds list, wild lettuce. The prickly spikes at the bottom, how it grows from the middle, how it looks like dandelion, but it isn't. It is not dandelion. Look at the curvatures and inconsistencies of the leaf. Uh, I refer to the Tories Table app or .org to reference why uh, wild lettuce is a no feed. I believe it has something to do with the uh, is it oxalates or oxa, oxacilic acid or something along those lines inside of it that is harmful to a tortoise's mouth. Uh, quote me if I'm wrong. I would love to hear otherwise, please. As you can see here, we have the word diner. That is short for Dash's Diner. My friends are super supportive of my tortoise feeding and picking. As you can see here, we have dandelions, moderate feed, high in oxalates, and it is a diuretic. If ingested too often, it will dehydrate your tortoise. It will cause a loose stool. Please do not feed it much more than weekly unless necessary. Um... Oh, let's see what else we can find upon this yard. There's obviously some no feeds and things that I don't even have a clue that they are. We just, we just love them. Look at that dandelion. Look at that dandy. It's a nice dandelion. Oh, here we got some henbit. This is in a occasional feed, monthly or weekly, uh, roughly not daily. So I grabbed a handful of that, stuffed it in my pocket. If I have too much, I'll dry out any excess. So please keep following or scroll through some old videos to find some more tourist tips on how to feed for free. That's what it's all about here, saving tourist owners money all while keeping your tourists healthy and alive for longer than uh, store-bought fertilized human consumption foods such as romaine, lettuce, things like that. You're, you're not doing your tourists any favors by overfeeding them with high chemicals, high fertilizers, uh, typically high protein, high sugars. They need a diet of high carbohydrates, or I'm sorry, low carbohydrates, high fiber, low sugar, and high calcium as always is beneficial as well. So just in a friend's yard like this, it's slightly overgrown, we'll say. And uh, it's crazy what you can find with a quick glance. There's more hen bit there, an occasional feed. There is uh, what appears to be clover there, but I have clover at home, so I'm not not picking any from here. Out front, they typically have broadleaf plantain, bellflowers, cornflowers, but uh, nothing sprung up yet. So hopefully stay tuned for more uh, episodes of the feed for free. And uh, I hope to save you all money. So please hit that link and subscribe. Your pal Hobson Scotch signing out.